All right, working on uh, 2005 GTO today. This is actually my dad's car. It's a 4L65. Um, finally made some time to work on this thing. Long story short is it, it actually messed up on him going down the highway over the summer where it just was like something locked up, kind of wanted to chirp the rear tires. He, he pulled it over the side, go forward, wouldn't back up. It was making god-awful noise. Initially was suspecting something in the rear end. Well, kind of checked that out, didn't see anything. Knew it had to be in the transmission. So pulled this thing apart um, just a couple minutes ago, actually. The fluid's still dripping out of it. And I wanted to show you guys what I found. Um, I went through this transmission probably about five, maybe six years ago, roughly around 30,000 miles. At that point, what had happened is it lost the three, four clutches like they always do. So just went through it, put new clutches and steels in it. Um, really didn't do much else. Just kind of updated a few things. Um, actually changed the input. That's what caused the failure of the three, four is it was leaking like they do these shafts. Uh, let me see if I can pull this off here. These shafts like to leak right there where the uh, shaft goes into the aluminum. And that's what caused his initial 3-4 failure. So I replaced that and all was good until going down the highway. And, and honestly, this thing shifted awesome. Um, so long story short, just got it ripped apart and I'm going to show you what we found. The first thing you'll notice is this is all discolored. So that shows you all the heat. And if you look here, that's the first thing I noticed is, okay, there's a bunch of heat coming from beneath this. This sits in here. That's where all the heat was coming from. So I was able to pry this apart and this is destroyed. And what actually happened here is this planetary right here from the best I can tell. Actually, hang on. Which one is it? This one. This one, all the needles are gone, and it is completely locked up. I think this one failed, and then just the destruction from this one. You can actually see all the heats around this one. All that material went through these others and destroyed them. Um, basically, this planetary set is destroyed. Um, the complete set. You'll end up doing this complete set with this set. Um, Honestly, there's six components to this whole set that all get replaced. And really and truly, um, kind of ask yourself, well, what caused that? It's just wear. Um, I have part of the bushing right here that was down in the pan. So what that tells me is that initial planetary failed. Um, really wasn't making any noise, anything. And then as more miles got put on it, it just self-destructed. I bet this all happened really quickly. Um, he was going on about a six-hour trip, so three hours there, three hours back. He made it there and made it two hours back. So, honestly, I think this whole thing failed on that trip um, because up to that point, it was perfect. But just want to show you guys what a planetary set failure looks like on one of these 4L65s. This is the five-pinion set. This is the better set. Um, they hold a lot of power, and honestly, this thing's pretty much bone stock. It only makes, you know, that 400 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds. Um, he beats on it now and again, but was not beating on it. was just cruising it down the highway. And this isn't a beating on it failure to me. This is just kind of worn out parts. As, as those bushings wear, these gears could start going up and down. The needles start to ride out, and then they just lock up and fail. So... Uh, really and truly, I probably should have replaced this set um, when we had it all apart five years ago. <clears throat> but five years ago, we were able to fix it for like, I don't remember, $300 worth of parts, where these planetary sets are rather expensive. So you can spend $600 on these sets. I'm going to try to find a used set. I know you run the risk of this happening again, but if we can find a good used set then it can, you know, probably get a good use set for two, three hundred bucks, and that's half the cost. It'll probably last another five, ten years. So, as long as it's good shape, it really should last a lot longer than that. But, yeah, um, this thing had, I want to say, right around 140,000 miles on it. it. Initially went out right around 100,000. Um, so, yeah, I guess he got almost 40,000 miles out of it. 
So 140,000 miles on these. That's probably about the uh, life expectancy, I guess. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what a planetary set failure looks like on these. These are good, good planetary sets. They hold a lot of power, but obviously when you put a ton of miles on them, 140,000 miles, yeah, I guess, you know, parts wear. So that'll be it. I just wanted to show you guys. Like I said, man, it, it sucks because I actually love the way this transmission shifted. It worked flawlessly and I guess, you know, that's how it goes. They work good until they don't. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, just uh, comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe.